Welcome to part 4 of the top 10 illustrator tools a beginner should master. In our last tutorial, I showed you an intro into the pen tool and its different functions. Now we're going to focus on the type tool. The type tool has many options, many, many options, so I will explain the basic functions of the tool, the functions you'll probably be using the most, and you'll see especially in this tutorial that I will not explain certain features of the type tool for my goal is for you to start using Illustrator right away without learning every single aspect of the software. If you go to my blog you can see the address at the bottom here illustrationdan.typepad.com I will post some links that explain the type tool in greater detail. Okay so let's get started. The first option is the type tool and it's very basic. If you've ever composed an email or use a word processor like uh, Microsoft Word you have used the type tool. Okay there are two ways uh, to create type. The first is you basically just click and start typing. Uh, this tutorial is awesome. Now individual type after you, f you finished is basically it's your, your type is like a shape. Uh, let's go to the selection tool and that selects your type and it's basically like a shape. It has the um, uh, white squares, which are places that you can edit it from. So when the double arrows pop up, you can drag it and make it bigger or make it smaller. But it skews your type, so remember to keep the proportions. You would hold shift down, hold shift, drag, and it keeps its proportions. And it makes it bigger or smaller. All right, let's go back to a acceptable size here. Now the other way it cre uh, creates type containers. Now this is like a shape and if we had one long sentence that went on forever and we wanted it to fit inside a box you really couldn't do that unless you pressed enter for the word to go to the next line. But an easier way to do this is let's, let's create a square that we want our type to fit in. So we'll create a black stroke here. Let's turn this to uh, transparent take our rectangle tool and we'll make a box and to make text fit inside this box we're going to take the type tool and let me get a big block of a uh, lorem ipsum text to paste in there okay now we're going to click and hold and sorry that's the next part click and hold and drag and it creates a box here you can make it any size and then we'll paste our text inside. Now when we go back to our selection tool we can drag this box and it, we can make it conform to the box and your text will fit inside. Now you see the difference is if you were to make this bigger or smaller it doesn't affect the size of the text just its area but on the individual layer if you were to make it bigger or smaller it makes the text bigger or smaller so the individual type layer is very handy for doing web layouts or brochures or whatever and the individual layer is for just doing individual type for your headers or whatever you can also change the color of the text by using this uh, fill here let's go ahead and let's make red text alright simple you can also do that with the uh, type container so I'd make this blue text and it's as easy as that you can also add a stroke around it. I don't recommend adding a stroke to uh, small text because it it's very it makes it very hard to read. It's 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 a lot better for really big text so you can still you know uh, make out what it says. Um, there's some different tricks for outlining text and even coloring text that will have to be in a different tutorial altogether. Send me a request if you'd like to see a tutorial on outlining text and you know different effects you can add to text. Alright, let's go ahead and clear the artboard here. And the next tool is the area type tool. And to show what this can do, let's go ahead and make the stroke to black. And let's take off the fill. Now the area type tool allows you to type inside of a shape and your type will actually conform to the shape. So let's create a kind of a wacky shape here with the pen tool and let's make sure we close it. Now you actually have to let's select the area type tool and you actually have to click on the on the on the path and then you can start typing. And 
and it actually the type will conform to the shape that it's in without pressing enter it automatically word wraps and it's very simple now the next option is the type on path tool so let's go ahead and delete what we just created and that's the type on path tool now to do this you need to ha uh, to make a line or path so let's go ahead and make a black stroke and take off the fill let's just create a wavy line here and the type on path tool you actually you have to click on the path and you can start typing and your type will conform to the path it's pretty simple and you can drag it all the way to the end some different editing functions on it pretty simple alright let's get rid of that this is this also works good if you want to type you can use it for a circle so let's say we have our circle it doesn't it doesn't have to have a stroke and we can click here on top and we can edit it and change its location and I'm sure you can find many uses for how this would come in handy alright the next option let's go ahead and get rid of that next option is the vertical type tool and it pretty much says what it does it allows you to type vertically haven't, very, haven't used this very much but I'm sure it'll come in handy someday alright let's get rid of that the next option is the vertical area type tool and this lets you type in an area like the area type tool except vertically so let's go ahead and make a let's put a black stroke take off our fill make another wacky shape and take the vertical area type tool click on the path and it conforms to the shape except it types vertically uh, again I've never used this function but I'm sure it'll come in handy sometime alright so let's delete that now the last option is the vertical type on path tool and this allows you to type vertically to type vertically on a path alright so you first have to start out with a path so let's take put a black stroke and take off the fill alright so let's create a wavy line going vertical and let's take our vertical type on path tool and you have to click on the path and you can start typing and it creates your text vertically on a path alright now let's get rid of that now let's just create some an individual type layer tutorial is awesome but my spelling isn't alright now we we'll get some character options alright now to ac access your uh, character options you have to go to window scroll down to type and click on character Oop, I already had it open okay this opens up your character options and it's pretty simple right now we have myriad selected let's make it another another font will make it onyx and you should probably already know how this works alright there's the font and there's its style we can make it bold this is the text size uh, this is line spacing so say we had two lines this would control the spacing in between them it comes in very handy and we also have uh, kerning which separates the spaces between the letters and this is also very important we can also individually make some words closer together than others let's make this one really far apart and uh, this option down here lets you stretch the text this makes it shorter or smaller and you essentially can do this with the selection tool by dragging it doing that uh, this option adds rotation to the letters I really don't use these options down here but they they may come in handy and have underline here and that's my intro to the type tool 
Um, there are many things you can do with type in Illustrator. Uh, for more information on Illustrator type, I posted some helpful links that explain Illustrator type in greater detail. Our next tutorial is going to be the line tool.